you serious? Are you serious, folks? So we have this terrible earthquake in Mexico, the death toll now at 245, and it's expected to continue to rise, unfortunately. 44 buildings leveled, a massive 7.1 mega, mega earthquake. Pray for the people in Mexico. Pray for Puerto Rico. Please pray for Puerto Rico. It is a devastating situation when 3.4 million people have no power at all in the entire island nation and 90% no, no water. This is a, a catastrophe. It's cataclysmic. Uh, but in Mexico, more happened than just the earthquake. It triggered uh, a volcanic eruption there at the uh, volcano Popocapelli, and that's not how you say it. There's, there's several different ways people pronounce it. But uh, this uh, volcano erupted. At least uh, it terrified, of course, the locals. 245 people killed in the huge earthquake, 7.1. But it also created uh, uh, 15 people were killed by the eruption when a church collapsed during, the, during mass on the slopes of the volcano Popocapelli. The volcano experts told uh, others that it is possible that the earthquake triggered this eruption by causing a reservoir of magma to burst towards the surface. So now um, what happened was you have the earthquake 7.1, and then that triggered the volcano to erupt, which killed 15 people that were in a small church having mass on the foot, foot of the mountain there. Uh, it's a horrible thing. Thousands of people live on the outskirts, of course, of the, the huge city of Mexico City. We know that this earthquake hit 75 miles from Mexico City in one of the outlying suburb areas. And so, now even though the volcano eruption Popocapelli uh, was a mild eruption, it happened just after the earthquake. Seismologists are saying the earthquake has caused the volcano. Now something else happened uh, last night in Mexico. While they were trying to dig these kids out of this collapsed school, it began to rain and then the rain turned to hail. And there was a hailstorm in the same area of the collapsed buildings <clears throat> at the earthquake site in Mexico last night. The Weather Channel, they even had a representative there who said it was a very strange, usually uh, hailstones fall because there's usually a, <clears throat> a tornado somewhere in the area fairly close. And... Uh, we know here in Indiana, anytime we get hail, it means a tornado's close, but you're probably not going to get hit by the tornado because you're getting the hail. That's just, we just know that. I've lived up here in Indiana, and we've dealt with tornadoes my whole life, so we pretty well know that here. But a strange hailstorm fell in Mexico uh, last night. And yes, the earthquake looks like triggered a volcano to erupt and that killed 15 people in a church having a mass uh, during the eruption on the slopes of the volcano. So some strange apocalyptic things going on. You would almost have to go to the book of Joel to read about it. It tells you in the last days. Also, they said that the moon had a reddish, very reddish tent over it. That's probably because of the smoke from the volcano but the moon turned blood red in that area. So if I look at uh, Joel 2, I read what the Bible said would happen in the last days. And I'll just go to verse 28. It says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Also upon the servants and handmaids in those days, I'll pour out my spirit. So God's getting ready to bless the church. But then he says, and I will show wonders in the heavens, we're getting ready to have the constellation, and in the earth, earthquakes, hurricanes of unprecedented, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Now, I don't know if you know this, but at the Mexico earthquake, there was also an explosion of a building. 
My son actually, uh, we showed this last night or yesterday in our live show, have an actual picture of the explosion. It was actually captured on a picture of the building exploding at the moment of the earthquake. So it says there, so I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood, <clears throat> blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. So we realize the Lord is coming and uh, the signs of the apocalypse are everywhere. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. You're living in the last days. Are you saved? 